Hi guys, good morning. I am filming this video as my lazy man. I'm going to call it the lazy man's way of cleaning brushes, okay? So normally when I spot clean, I use my Mac brush cleaner and most of us know this. We get it from Mac from the Mac store, of course. And um what I have in front of me oh, is the Mac cleaner, but I'm not going to use that. I have 91% alcohol and I got this at Walmart. Some dirty brushes, a piece of paper towel on top of um hand towel, hand rag, wash rag, whatever. And just a little dish that I use for doing this stuff, okay? Just one of those little dollar store dishes. Okay? And over here I have already clean brushes okay I just cleaned this Sigma one okay so this is a method I found that has really been helping me to keep the washing the ton load of washing because up here you can see my brushes these are some of my brushes and I kind of like them up there so I leave them there so what I have in front of me I'm going to use the Sigma F80 brush. I think this is, yes, the F80 brush. And it is very dense and packed. And as you can see, it has foundation that I used. Sometimes I do this when the brushes are a day old, needing cleaning, or right away. But I seldom do it right away because I'm usually running when I'm done. Okay? So, did my foundation with that. So, all I'm going to do. And I'm using my phone to film this, so bear with me if it's a little shaky. I'm just pouring some of this alcohol straight into that dish, all right? And I'm going to take my brush, my Sigma brush. I'm just going to dunk it in there. And watch what happens. See that? Foundation is already coming out. Okay, and I just keep it in there and it's alcohol it is not going to hurt your brushes it's not going to ruin your brushes in any way it's going to take all that gunky stuff out that you just put on your face and you can see my bristles are coming back to life already they're turning white and then I just take it out and I do it several times sometimes I squeeze the alcohol out a little and then I take it to the paper and then I wiggle it this way that way it's coming off look at the brush or I have a towel on my lap and these little towels I get from the dollar store like two for a dollar and because I'm holding the phone I can't hold the rag but usually I just do it in the rag just like that okay and as you can see it's fast it's easy it's effective and if you want to do this another time you can have two containers i have a, another container here this one i already used this morning so i'm not going to dip my clean brush into that i just used that but if you want to dip it again say you had more residue but see it's clean but if you think you had more residue you can always go back in in the same solution or you can add a fresh solution if you want to and just dunk the brush in there like we say it's not going to hurt the brush and your brushes are going to be actually disinfected and ready to go and you won't be suffering from breakouts squeeze the excess out just like that and I take it back to my towel and I can get a different spot actually let me use that new spot over here so you can see see that so my brush is actually clean and I just press on the side of the bristle like that just like that and clean it you can do this until you are comfortable with it until you are satisfied that your brush is clean and sometimes what I do I take the brush turn it over this way 
and I just roll through the bristles like that. And make sure your hands are clean and sanitized first. Like I used a sanitizer before I started to touch to clean my hands. So I can I feel comfortable doing this to my brush even though it just got cleaned, okay? So I'm holding my phone with the left hand and I'm just using the right hand to work the brush. So that's that. And I just kind of roll it and then you can take the other hand if you have the other hand available and of course you would because you have two hands and you're not filming <laughs> and then you reshape your brush and um, just lay it out to dry so I'm gonna rest that one there and this is the hand sanitizer that I use I use the Germex foaming hand sanitizer and I also get this one at Walmart because it's gentle on my hands okay so if you wanted to like I have another foundation brush you can always take and go back in there and start loosening up that one as well and you can when I go in you can see it's taking all the stuff out of the brush and so usually I use this and I just clean the brushes that way see the brush this one is almost clean already and just do the same process on each brush that you have and you can, you're going to judge how dirty your your alcohol solution is if you want to stick another brush in there or if you want to get new solution okay and then I come over here use a new spot and I do the same wiggle motion okay and just to show you this one is almost clean and I can always go in and get the rest of that stain out but you can you get the basic idea okay but my Sigma brush is all clean and that's that and I use it on different types of brushes like this one is a bare minerals brush I use this one for setting my foundation it's just a little cute brush I got at the outlet and these are other dirty brushes and I'm going to wash these the same way I just washed the Sigma one so I hope this is helpful to you guys and um, it works for me I like it I like that my brushes are disinfected and sanitized when I'm done and it's easy so once again what you'll need quick recap you'll need alcohol I use 91% I have not tried it with 70% but yeah that's what I use you'll need a little container clean of course you'll need to sanitize your hands with whatever sanitizer you use and I'm not being paid to do this video I'm not endorsed by anyone okay and you'll need a paper towel wash rag um, hand towel I use a hand towel and I just go through when I have a lot of brushes if I'm doing one this works but if I'm doing multiple brushes I stick with the hand towel okay so if anyone tries this let me know how it works for you and if you like it and it minimizes the ton of brushes I have to wash on a weekly basis and yes at the end of the week after doing this treatment to your brushes you can go ahead and do your regular wash with whatever you used to wash it and wash it under the tap with water and all that good stuff but this way your face brushes will be clean and your eye won't fall out and you won't break out blah 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 okay so thank you guys for watching and have a good day bye bye